All right, let's get started. Uh, a couple of things I wanted you to know before we start. This tape is about fundamental plumber's math. At the end of the tape, we're going to give you uh, a list of equivalents, like a gallon of water weighs eight and a third pounds, and a cubic foot weighs 62 and a half. But before I did that, I wanted to show you where the numbers are used. And when you're writing them down, you'll at least have an idea. So a good place to start is pressure per square inch. You'll notice on the top, a column of water one foot high and one square inches at its base equals, and I left it blank. I left that so it would be like a flashcard effect for you. When you're going through them, see if you can write the number down. And it's going to take some practice for you to, to uh, be able to learn them, but, but you will. And uh, I'm going to explain them to you. A big number is one cubic inch of water equals 0.036 pounds. And a bigger number is a column of water, one square inch, and one foot high equals 0.434 pounds. Now let's take a look. This will be the one that we'll use primarily right here. I've taken and drawn a sketch of a column of water, one foot high, one square inch at its base. That's going to exert a pressure of 0.434 pounds per square inch. And over here I've drawn a line and I've made a uh, a column of water one inch high and one square inch like a cubic inch of water is 0.036 pounds. Both of those are going to be important to us. The normal problem you'll have when you get into uh, your or test or even when you're learning uh, a three inch pipe or stack 30 feet high would exert a pressure per square inch of how much? In order to do that, is all we have to do is multiply height in feet times 0.434. 30 inches times 0.434 is 13.02 pounds per square inch. So, have a 3 inch pipe full of water, 30 feet high, the pressure per square inch is 13.02 pounds per square inch. And the big, big thing here is to remember we're only measuring a column of water 30 feet high, one square inch. If you can walk away with that, you'll, you'll be well on your way to understanding pressure per square inch. Now, if I came along and I said to you, I have a six inch pipe and it's 30 feet high, uh, I know some of my beginning students would get confused until they understand we're still measuring that same column of water 30 feet high one square inch at its base. That's a big concept for you. So we're going to say the PSI is always the same regardless of diameter. Once you understand that, that'll go a long way to uh, have you do the problems. Now sometimes we'll run into a situation where we'll have uh, something that is less than a foot. Right over here I have a column of water one square inch and it's eight inches high. And a lot of the beginning apprentices would start multiplying by 0.434, but that wouldn't help them because 0.434 is a foot. So if we remember uh, one cubic inch is 0.036 pounds, then we multiply eight times 0.036, we come up with 0.88 PSI. So that's all there is to it not a big deal. Uh, remember what we're trying to do and up in the top when you click on the slide just kind of read it and see if you can write the number. Then you can go through the problem and when we get around to our equivalent numbers and you see 0.434 you'll know where it comes from. 